One of the uh, really important aspects of law in, uh, in an educational context, and almost all contexts actually, is employment law. So um, what we want to do now is uh, have a bit of a discussion about what employment law is uh, and how it impacts on you um, and um, how, um, what sort of understandings of it you need to have in order to uh, function. So <clears throat> first of all, when we talk about employment law, what are we talking about? Well, this is the law that regulates the way that people are employed, all aspects of employment. So it covers um, how an employment relationship is begun. Uh, it covers how the parties to the employment relationship, the employer and the employee, interact with each other during the course of that employment. So that includes a whole raft of things, how wages and salaries are set, uh, uh, promotions, how they're organised, on what basis and so on, uh, issues to do with discipline and um, uh, actions that are... Um, you know, questionable uh, performance management policies, uh, leave, holiday pay, all of those sorts of things. Um, and also, uh, importantly, how employment relationships <coughs> conclude. Um, that, of course, is quite a significant one. <coughs> so, um, when we're looking at employment law, the starting point is legislation. What is the law written down in statute that regulates employment. Uh, and in New Zealand, that's the Employment Relations Act um, passed in 2000. The Employment Relations Act um, was introduced by Labour after the Employment Contracts Act was repealed. So that's the primary piece of legislation in relation to uh, it, to employment law. There are, however, other um, pieces of legislation as well. The Holidays Act 2003 is relevant, for example. The Wages Protection Act, they have an impact on, uh, on employment uh, as well. Um, so that's the, that's the statute, but as with other areas of law also, the statute is the starting point that establishes um, what the law says, but what does the statute actually mean? That's figured out in practice by um, the process of evolving case law. So it's decisions in courts that actually determine what that statute means uh, when it's applied in practice. So what are the courts? Well, in relation to um, employment, employment law is determined through a dedicated system of courts uh, and tribunals. Uh, and the starting point for this is the Employment Relations Authority, the ERA. Um, so that's the first sort of port of call for um, resolving issues related to employment, although when it comes to issues of disputes, the, uh, the authority almost always instructs parties to go through mediation before they will hear a case. So, in actual fact, mediation uh, is kind of the starting point before you get to the Employment Relations Authority. Um, beyond the Employment Relations Authority, um, there is the Employment Court. So, if matters... Um, have gone to the authority and one party is still um, contesting them, the, the appeal um, avenue for that uh, is to the employment court. And then beyond the employment court, it goes to the court of appeal. So um, unlike um, other things that might go through the high court, high court has a really important role in the court system, um, the employment court is effectively the equivalent of a high court. Uh, so matters that don't get or that are still being contested um, at the high court, uh, sorry, at the employment court, uh, go through straight through to the court of appeal and then, of course, beyond that, um, the Supreme Court as well. But those, um, those higher level appeals uh, aren't just a matter of course. You need to apply for uh, leave to appeal to those courts, so they won't just hear anything as a matter of course. They need to. You need to make a case to be heard in those courts. So, employment law, as I said, is is um, law that is surrounding employment relationships. So, an important starting point 
for understanding employment law um, is to uh, understand something about an employment relationship. That's really the starting point for employment law to kick in. So uh, what is an employee? Well, Section 6 of the Employment Relations Act defines what that is. It says an employee is any person of any age employed by an employer to do any work for hire or reward under contract of service. So um, that's, what, uh, that's what an employee is, and when an employee, um, that, that's the basis of an employment relationship. Um, is that an employment relationship? Well, the Act says that in order to establish whether somebody is an employee, the essential thing is to determine the real nature of the relationship between them. What is the relationship between these two parties? Uh, and is it an employment relationship? And the reason they say the real nature of the relationship between them is because there can be relationships that uh, are described as something other than employment, uh, but that the court deals uh, believes are actually employment. Uh, and that's why this is important, because the purpose of employment law is to regulate relationships between employers and employees. Um, and uh, the, the legislation uh, acknowledges uh, two kind of basic things. One is that employers have the right to manage their affairs. Um, they own the company, they own the enterprise, they have the right to manage, but there is also a recognition within employment law that there is a, essentially an imbalance of power in an employment relationship in favour of the employer. So uh, employment law is uh, designed to kind of even that out. So it effectively uh, includes um, provisions to protect the rights of employees. That's essentially what employment law does. It, it provides rules that employers essentially have to abide by so they can't just anything goes. Um, and the courts are alert to situation where employers might try to avoid their responsibilities as an employer and remove the rights of employees um, by describing their relationship in ways other than employment. For example, uh, independent contractors. So um, employers, uh, the, the employment law um, uh, is doesn't just take at face value that this is not an employment relationship. Um, it looks at the true nature of the relationship to determine if it is an employment relationship or not. In one important case, the Court of Appeal described the purpose of Section 6 of the Act as being, quote, to stop employers inappropriately limiting the reach of the Employment Relations Act by resort to artificial contract form. So... That's um, quite an important um, aspect of it, that, that if employers try to make out that what is going on is not an employment relationship, but some other kind of contract, uh, then they, by doing that, they try to get out of the provisions of employment law. Um, but um, the courts, um, uh, in determining whether there is an employment relationship, will look at the true nature of the relationship. And there's a number of steps that they use to test whether they are, uh, um, whether it is a, a relationship. And these are all, they're not set out in, in statute, but they're developed through cases. Now, I don't propose to go into all of those, but just to, just to uh, alert you to the fact that the essential starting point for employment law is employment relationships. And most things that... Um, look like employment relationships are employment relationships and if people try to um, describe them in ways other than employment relationships the courts are kind of alert to that um, because they don't want people to uh, kind of uh, escape the provisions of employment law um, and escape the uh, protections really that that gives to uh, to employees. So that's sort of the starting point of what is uh, encapsulated by employment law and the 
uh, and the and the um, the structures and 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 systems, the legislation and the court process uh, that administers that law.